Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paste into visible cells only in Excel. Now, if you're new to my channel, I've already created not one, but two videos on this topic in which I demonstrated how to copy and paste from a source range in which my source range was this range over here from A to H into a destination range where we have some hidden cells. And the reason I'm creating this video is that one of the viewers of this channel left a comment in the comment section and he asked me if it's possible to do this in a different way. So Vincent commented, how do I make it so that the hidden rows won't get filled in, but that the following visible rows get the continued data instead of skipping the middle part? Example, in your example, you paste A, B, G, and H into 1, 2, 7, and 8. How do I make it such that I can paste A, B, C, and D into 1, 2, 7, and 8? So what Vincent is referring to is pasting into visible cells only. And in my previous video, I showed how to paste from this source range into the destination range. And in that example, I had hidden the middle rows. I had hidden the rows which contain three, four, five, and six in them. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. And I showed how to copy and paste from this range that is the input range into the destination range in a way that we can avoid pasting into the hidden cells. And in that example, I copied and pasted the cells which contain A, B, G, and H into cells one, two, and seven and eight. I'm going to answer Vincent's question, but before that, I'm just going to also demonstrate how I did it last time. Now, before we start, as usual, if you appreciate the information, it would mean a lot to me if you hit the like button or the subscribe button. That's all I ask from you. It helps the channel tremendously. And as a thank you for doing that, I will do my best to reply to as many comments as I can. So let's get started. First, I'm going to demonstrate how I did this. That is how I pasted into visible cells only in my previous video. And then I'll answer Vincent's question. So. We have a source range over here, which contains the alphabets A through H. And we have a destination range that contains numbers one through eight. Now I want to paste from the source range into the destination range, but let's say the destination range contains some hidden rows. Say we have these middle rows, which contain numbers three to six, we hide these. And we want to copy from the source range into the destination range in a way that the hidden cells remain intact. That is the hidden cells still contain the numbers and the alphabets do not get copied and pasted into the hidden range. How do we do that? So the solution I explained in that video, which by the way, the link to that video is available in the description box is as follows. So we first select the source range. We do a control C. Then we select the destination range, which contains some hidden cells in the middle. We select the destination range. We click on control G, click on special, check the visible cells only radio button, click on OK. Then we have to click on the equal sign, select the first cell in the source range, and then we have to do a control enter on the keyboard. And as easy as that, we were able to copy into visible cells only using this tactic. And uh, now I will unhide the cells which are hidden to show that all of those cells have remained intact. That is the values A, B, G, and H have been copied and pasted into the cells which previously contained one, two, seven, and eight. And the cells in the middle, which were hidden while we were doing the copy and pasting, have remained intact. That is, they contain the same values that they did before. Now, Winston's question is, how do we do this in a way that instead of copy and pasting values A, B, G, and H, we do the exact same thing, would we copy and paste values A, B, C, and D into cells which contain one, two, seven, and eight. So let me recreate my destination range again. So I'm going to put the original values in here. So one through eight. So Vincent wants to know how can we copy and paste the values A, B, C, and D 
uh, when we have hidden rows in the middle and paste them into the cells that currently have values one, two, seven, and eight. So let's say these four rows are hidden again. So we want to paste in the visible cells, but instead of uh, copy and pasting cells A, B, G, and H, we want to copy and paste cells which contain A, B, C, and D into the cells uh, in the destination range, which contain one, two, seven, and eight. Uh, we have to use a different approach for doing this, and here's how it's done. So we need to go through a number of steps in order to get this done. And the first step consists of creating a helper column. And this helper column contains the order of these cells. So our helper column will be column B in this case, and I will put the order in which these cells in column C appear. That is the first cell will obviously have one, and then uh, the numbers will ascend. So we have numbers one through eight. And I will explain a little bit later on why we need this helper column. We just have in mind that we just need a column that keeps track of the order in which these cells appear. And it's just a coincidence that the helper column also has uh, the same values as our destination range. The destination range could contain any kind of value. It doesn't even have to be numbers. And again, I'll explain a little bit later on why we need this. Now, the second step is we need to highlight the cells which we are going to be pasting into. First, we're going to hide the cells which are meant to be hidden. So I'll do a hide. I've hidden the cells which contain the values three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to highlight the cells in which we want to copy and paste the values A, B, C, and D into. So to do that, I will select the range. I will do a control G, click on special, visible cells only, and then okay. Now I'm going to apply a color to this range. Now you can select any color you want. I'll color it in yellow as so. And then I'm going to unhide the cells that were hidden. So I'm gonna click on unhide. Now I'm gonna click on any of the highlighted cells. It could be any of them. I'm gonna right click, go to sort, and I'm gonna click on put selected cell color on top. And after doing that, the cells which were colored will all appear on top of this list. Then I'm gonna simply copy and paste the values A, B, C, and D into the colored cells. So I'll copy and then I'll paste, as so. And the last step is where this helper column will come into play. So I'll select the full range, I'll right click on the helper column, and I'll go to sort, and I'll sort smallest to largest. And there we go. So we got exactly the outcome we wanted. We were able to copy and paste the values A, B, C, and D into the cells which previously contained one, two, seven, and eight without impacting the hidden cells. So the hidden cells are completely intact and contain the exact same values. And we were able to, uh, instead of copy and pasting values A, B, G, and H into the visible cells, we copy and pasted the first four values, that is A, B, C, and D, into the cells that contained one, two, seven, and eight. And now that we've done that, we can even go ahead and remove our helper column, which contained the order. So you can just right click and clear that. So we were able to copy and paste into visible cells only using this approach. Then uh, just to summarize again, the approach consists of coloring the cells which are visible only by clicking on control G and then coloring visible cells only and then pasting into those color cells. And after doing that, we use our helper column, which contained orders to reorder them in the order which they were originally in. And that's how it's done. I hope I've been able to answer the question from our uh, commenter, Vincent. Thank you again for the uh, question. It was a very uh, good question. I'm happy that you brought this up and we were able to resolve this problem. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos. Thank <laughs> you.